Hello students. Today's topic is naming molecular compounds. This is really easy. Um, students really get a hang of this pretty quickly, but I just wanted to make a quick video going over four examples from your homework of naming molecular compounds, and we'll probably do these in class as well. But just to be clear, these questions are about binary molecular compounds. Binary means there are two elements in the compound, and since they're molecular, they contain two nonmetals. So you'll notice in all of these examples and on all your homework, it's only elements that are nonmetals in this area of the periodic table. Okay, so to do this, we just have to follow um, three easy steps. The first step is you need to name the first element. Okay, so you just have to name the first one. Second, you have to change the second element to an IDE ending, which we'll see when we do some examples. So name the first, change the second to IDE, and then third, we need to use prefixes, which we'll also explain. We're going to use a little table here. But that's it, those three steps. So we're going to go through these four examples um, and just answer or name them and you'll see that this is pretty easy and you'll be able to finish your homework. Um, so to do this, the prefixes that I'm gonna use, well, you'll need your periodic table, of course, that will help. Um, and then we have this table, you'll have this in your notes. It's a table of the prefixes one through 10. And then just two little notes here that we don't use mono for the first element. Um, and then we drop the A or the O in a prefix if it's used before oxygen. So we'll see a couple of examples of that as well. Okay, so we're just gonna follow our steps here. So first, as we're looking at number one, the first thing to do is name the first element. So SI, if you forgot what SI is, just look on your periodic table. Um, and actually this one is a metalloid, but we'll still name that um, as a binary molecular compound. So the first one is silicon. So we'll write silicon. All right, so that's naming the first element. Second step, change the second to IDE. So our second element is oxygen, so we just need to change the ending to IDE, so instead of oxygen, it will be oxide. And notice I'm leaving some space here because we need to add prefixes, which is the third step, and I'm not sure how much space I'm gonna need here. So if you write in pencil, you can just erase it. Uh, but now I just need to add prefixes to say how much of each atom we have in the molecule, right? So silicon, if you look at the formula, there is one silicon atom, right? If there's no number written, it means there's one. So you look on your prefixes, one, we use the prefix mono. However, this note here says that we don't use mono for the first element. So since silicon is the first element and we were going to use mono, we actually don't use it since it's the first one. So that one's just silicon. Next, we look at oxygen. There are two of them, so we use the prefix di. Okay, so we'll put di in front. So the name of this compound, SiO2, is silicon dioxide. So that shows that we have one silicon and two oxygens. Done. All right, next one, number two. PCl3. So follow our steps. We'll name the first one. So P, again, if you forget what it is, check your periodic table. P is phosphorus. Make sure you get the spelling correct. So phosphorus. And then Cl is chlorine. But remember, we need to change the second one to IDE. So it's going to be chloride. Right, and then last step is to add our prefixes. Phosphorus here, we have one, which is mono. But again, remember, we don't use mono if it's the first one. So we will not put a prefix here for phosphorus since it's the first element. Second element, we have three of them. Three, tri. So we need to add tri, the prefix tri, before chloride. Right, so the name of PCl3 is phosphorus trichloride. It tells us that there's one phosphorus and three chlorides. Done. 
Next, number three, SIF4. So SI, remember we had that one earlier, that's silicon. Right, and then the second element, F, is fluorine, careful with the spelling. Um, and we need to change the ending to ID. So fluoride, and then we have four of them, so we need to get our prefixes. Remember, silicon, we just had one, so we don't use a prefix here if it's the mono one. We don't put it. But the fluorides, we have four of them. So look on our list, four is tetra. So we had tetra in front of fluoride, and that's the name for SIF4, silicon tetra fluoride. All right, and then the last one here that we'll do N2O, so we first need to name the first element, nitrogen is N, and then the second element is oxygen, and we need to change the ending to IDE, so oxide, all right, and now we add prefixes, so nitrogen, we have two, is dye. So we need dye here, dye nitrogen, and then the second element we have just one. So if it's one we use mono, but since this one is with oxygen, we have to use this little note that we will drop the A or O in the prefix if it's used before oxygen. So instead of mono, oxide, that's kind of awkward, so we drop this O and it just becomes monoxide. Okay, so since it ended in an O and it came before oxygen, we don't want two O's in a row or an A and an O in a row, so we'll drop that and it just becomes monoxide, and you've maybe heard that in carbon monoxide. All right, so this name tells us that there are two nitrogens and one oxygen. All right, so those are the first four in your homework. It's a pretty easy homework assignment, pretty short. Uh, hopefully you don't have any issues with that anymore, but let me know if you have questions. Good luck.